talk about that, guys. We are actually going to jump into BMM going up against uh, Unban me. <laughs> <laughs> Unban me from chat, please, Agebox, aka Mando. Uh, yeah. So, Robin Min, it's not really a matchup that you see particularly often. Uh, as Robin, how do you set up projectiles when, when Min Min can just sort of, I don't know, just, just stuff you out half the time? And BMM also is very, very talented with Pichu as well. So, I'm wondering what the rationale here was because I know they have a fantastic Robin as well as a Pichu, but I feel like Pichu would have a little bit easier of a time getting in than, say, a slower ground speed character like Robin. Uh, she does have good. The, the projectile setups are something we have to be aware of here, uh, too. But so far, I'm not seeing too much of that as there's so much pressure Mando's just been applying so far. Yeah, Amanda has just not been, you know, letting BMM get back to center stage, not really giving BMM the space that they need. But look at that tag chase with Ark Thunder. When you have a slow moving projectile like that, it just occupies so much space so dangerously on the platform. We got the arc fire, wall of arc fire set up right there. Wow. An excellent time to roll from ledge to up smash right there to take that first stock by, uh, by Mando. U using their noggin really, really well like, right there. That, that option roll from ledges if you time it correctly you can get right through uh the end leg of arc fire especially if they keep planning out the throw mm -hmm. more arc fires in the future yeah it's just all about like timing it to the right part of the animation to be able to get in there in time and to be able to punish it and now once again mando is just trying to get back at that same position tries to go through the same exact punish they seem to be pretty confident in this matchup that they know that level of counter play uh to one of goblin's most potent projectiles at ledge and I like the usage of like full to empty hops as well, or, or short hops as well, to kind of keep Mando in place from overcommitting on BMM too early so far. That being said, though, BMM going to be able to sneak out that kill and also getting some center stage control out of it as well. They don't really need to approach too much as Arc Fire really swing. And uh, the, honestly, I like that BMM is opting to use more projectiles as opposed to just charging in with Robin's aerials because the, the projectiles travel pretty far and they can uh, you can play a nice little zoning war right there. With and look at that small adaptation from BMM already. You see the way that they didn't. Go for another arc further, anticipating that roll from ledge uh, from Mando. And so they just sat there, waited, and were able to find that grab. Ooh, and the, the megawatt uh, neutral air going to be coming out right there and clapping that stock off of BMM off the top here. I'm, I'm wondering if BMM is still just trying to figure out how to navigate this matchup right now with the usage of arc fire. Arc fire is really good, but Robin does have a little bit of end lag after shooting it out. And with a character who can punish you almost full screen in Min Min, that can be pretty difficult to set up that projectile mm -hmm. pressure. It seems like a lot of what Manda has been looking for, or excuse me, of what uh, BMM was looking for so far, is just sort of catching uh, Mando pressing a button in places that they shouldn't have. But I feel like BMM is still just not finding a lot of ways to effectively pressure uh, Mando. They're just sort of waiting for a whiff. Ooh, and there was one right there, but fortunately BMM couldn't capitalize too far off of it. And just this mobility from Mando right there, not locking themselves down into any uh, one place. Wow. Just staying mobile, but nice scoop from BMM right there to take that stock right off. Yeah, you don't really often see falling back and up into, uh, you know, forward like that from Robin, Woo! but BMM seems really confident in no their conclusions. Oh, uh, no, couldn't clean it up. So sad for BMM right there. It looks like they had the right idea there. Literally took the double jump right away from uh, Mando, but couldn't close it out. Not oh, Dara. That's you off stage against Midman. <laughs> you have like a 50% of fifty percent chance of dying in that position. Uh, good good on BMM to be able to avoid that. But now how do you get back off the stage against Mando? Oh, yeah. Able to catch that jump out of the shield. Um, honestly, it's... it's Ooh. Wow. Okay, not gonna quite get it yet. Got kind of the sour spot of dragon right there, which I've honestly never seen before. That was like a, the lightest hit of dragon I've ever seen. Ooh, and this is BMM's chance. We see an opening right here. No arc fire needed. Excellent pivot grab, anticipating the roll from ledge right there. Holy moly. That time interacting with the Mega One, <gasps> just barely going under the arc fire. And now Mando is looking for a way to be able to clean up this stock. Are they gonna be able to find this ledge trap a little bit too soon on pressing the neutral? Oh. And BMM was able to go back onto the stage. Ooh, okay. One more of those might do it. You know, Robin's aerials with Levin sort of very, very strong. This game turned into a nail biter of a sudden. That El Thunder. Oh, that was so That much. El Thunder just saved the oh, BMM. No. <laughs> Damn. Unlucky, yeah. Getting caught by that megawatt, I think, mid-jump uh, mid right there in 
claw BMM, and that that sucks because especially when you claw your way back from a deficit like that mm-hmm. with uh, with Robin of all characters, like Mim- Mimmin's oppression is insane, especially on characters that are a little bit slower moving in the air. But BMM found really nice openings. It was just the the few whiffs they did. And yeah, you can't be following Mimmin if she's jumping. You shouldn't be jumping with her right in front of her just because her her arms follow her horizontally. You see that diagonal rise up there, just getting that hidden. So yeah, you got you got to be really really careful because Mimmin zones on the ground really well, but she she can also she also has those hops i think that's really funny that i funny. have i have always i'm always entertained by the fact that Minmin can put out a hitbox and then jump with it and make that hitbox go up mm-hmm. uh so it's a dynamic hitbox whose position changes and yeah. you just gotta sometimes hold that and i it's think a moving that's- smash attack it's a moving smash attack, and it, <laughs> you can make it move basically where you want. So you can move forward, back. You can jump. Ah, oh, geez, that's a little bit tough. But yeah, no, that's going to be the switch to Pichu, just as you foretold a little bit sooner. Uh, I think this is a much better matchup oh, yeah. Pichu on paper. You're able to get in a lot easier. Look at the lightning loops already. There you go. Get- BMM has those. Oh, BMM my. has those loops on lock. His combo game is super duper disciplined. Pichu can afford to yep. go off stage. You do have to be precise and break zone. But for a small, uh, wily little character like Pichu, it shouldn't matter that much. And he could have made oh, that no. back, but unfortunate SD. I got a little tilted after uh, missing the air dodge to ledge there, but you know, you're still playing Pichu. Pichu, Pichu can make it back from anywhere. This is such a scary character, you know, already BMM is showing off a lot of prowess with Pichu. Mm-hmm. Um, like, the way that they're just able to put on so much damage so consistently, like, if Mando gets hit once, you know, they could just be taking unforeseeable amounts of damage. So now the real struggle is, as BMM, how do I get in? Anticipates that goal in, is it going to be able to find that up smash, but... Um, Ooh, one over commitment. Now you're stuck at ledge against Minmin. All right, though. Min- uh, Mando's still been able to get some damage off. No double jump left on. Yeah, that's going to be it right there. Excellent snipe out there with the Thunder Jolt. And th- this mm-hmm. is the, one of the scariest things about Pichu. You know, you've got a, an effective zoning tool in Thunder Jolt, and you've also got those excellent, tiny, precise hitboxes that Pichu. And, and also the combos. Honestly, once Pichu is in, Pichu just, can just stay in for as long as he wants. Yeah, but right there, Mando catching that landing is going to be able to clean up that stock. What is BMM's advantage going to be here? Anticipates that new falling aerial, but um, it really did seem like they're going to go for the parry, but it was a little bit too uh, too quick on the releasing of the shield. So right now, BMM just, once again, not able to find these big combo targeters. Only like one or two hits apiece. Yeah, BMM. Okay, I like I like the patience. They're just waiting, calling out the spot. Once Minmin has both of her arms out, that is your that's go time for you. That's the, that's your time to basically say, okay, I need to go in and do as much damage as I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta wait out that second punch. As soon as you see that second punch come out, Minmin is basically Ooh. a sitting duck, and just like that, once again, BMM waits for that second item to come out. Says, hey, I know you're basically sitting idle, and I can get in there and do some damage. This is getting a little worrisome, though, for BMM. One, Pichu is one of the lightest characters in the cast, so one more big hit from Mando might even seal uh, BMM's fate. They need to find some way to just get this kill out real quick because Mando's been clutching onto this stock for dear life. <gasps> Ooh, rolls oh, in. What? So, um, you know what? Not really sure how BMM was able to escape that situation <laughs> unscathed. Back here, he's going to set up another edge guard. But if you're not finding those edge guards against Min Min, you're not going to be finding those stocks. And BMM Speaking did exactly that. Yeah. That, that's that's what that's how you get it, right? But, uh, Min Min, relatively Ooh. heavy as well, you know? Uh, but one of the most exploitable recoveries in the game. Oh. The Megawatt did so much shield damage, and it's because Pichu is so small. Every every character's shield takes their size. So, you know, mm-hmm. it, if you get hit as Pichu, your shield is super tiny, and those big old ears pointing out, that was enough uh, shield damage for Mando to get that poke right there at that dragon. BMM looking good. You know, there was an SD that game, but uh, Mando just so, so tight in terms of just playing the back foot. Did we need mm-hmm. to, uh, he angled it up, too, to get... The shield uh, poke. That was excellently played by Mando. Right Peaches, there. Peaches, funny little ears. Oh, yeah. oh man, they they uh they really poke out of the shield sometimes. <laughs> and, and they try to patch that. They really tried to fix that. But guys, angle your shields. It might save your life sometimes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Make sure it makes it makes your already small shield just a little bit bigger in the places you need. Because you don't need to be blocking behind you if you're getting attacked from the front. Oh, we got a trip. Okay. 
Yes, these lingering nares have actually been doing a lot for uh, BMM right here. I want to see him use them a little bit more just to try and pick off uh, Mando when he's in the air because it is, it is Pichu's safest aerial, I believe. If it's spaced correctly, it's pretty hard to punish it out of shield. Ooh, dashing back, has the right idea and trying to catch that landing, but is still going to trade at the end of the day. And now uh, Mando is just doing anything that they can get a cat to get some space for themselves. Um, it's really just kind of like this war of, can I keep you out or will I be able to jump in and, you know, deal damage and get you off stage eventually? BMM has not been able to execute that. And Mando just been holding so much horizontal space on this stage, just sharking pretty much every area BMM is falling as soon as the initial hits uh, settle. And this is, this is looking tough. You know, Mando's defense has been really, really good, and just the trapping at the ledge has been fantastic as well with how he's been time, uh, how they've been timing their arms. But geez, that, that was almost really, really bad. Good snap to ledge right there for Mando. I mean, as Pichu, it's a little bit tough because it seems like a lot of the hitboxes that you would generally throw out there, if the opponent has a double jump, they could just double jump and up to get back onto the stage. Ooh, um, so it oh might be my. a little bit difficult to find those edge guards, but a great catch uh, using the F tilt. He just hit him with the stanky leg right there, just get it, catching that regrab really, really nicely. And I, BMM needs to start putting Mando in the mix. You know, we've been seeing these high recoveries, these retreats, but it's made very clear that Mando's game plan is just get as much space between Min Min and Pichu as possible and just keep applying that pressure. Call out these jumps with these little full hops while doing the smash attacks or, or tilts in the air. And uh, BMM just hasn't been able to find a clear way in just yet. Oh, but that after go is going to set up into another position at the ledge. Uh, BMM, but again, just like sort of letting Mando to get back. Um, it seems like a lot of the time BMM is preemptively committing to either low distance or going to neutral get up distance and pressing a smash attack. As a result, Mando has just been going through a lot of timing delays, but a really good denial is going to stop Mando from getting back onto the stage. So one of the first times in the entire set thus far, BMM has a lead. Oh yeah, for sure. And uh, it's uh, the name of the game is honestly patience against Min Min. You have to wait a lot to just pick your spots very, very well. It's like infiltrating mm -hmm. a fortress, basically. Like you, you need to know when the, the the dust settles and the attacks are off. That's the double jump right there. Still BMM. There we go, lingering that's there, it. and that's gonna be it right there. Excellent edge guards. Me For Me Melee ain't the only game you can edge guard, and you can do it in this one too. And it's super effective against characters like Min Min. You know, no, no, about, no one to pick those spots. It's all about threatening with position. Mm -hmm. You saw the way that BMM jumped out there, was just like able to scale, um, you know, Mando to going a little bit low. They just like continued to like sort of really pressure them in that distance and then was able to force that low recovery. So as soon as you get a guarantee from where they are going to be recovering, um, that's when you can start to get that punish. So I feel like the stall out actually hurt Mando there quite a bit because they were on their way back. Mm -hmm. BMM wasn't anywhere near, uh, you know, a position where he could have edge guarded Mando just yet. You know, he could have air dodged to ledge or done something, but you know, he, he picked his spot really, really well and just, you know, waited for the stall because Mando has been stalling almost every single time on the way back to stage and BMM finally mm -hmm. caught up on it. Yeah. It's, it, it really just goes back to the concept of like, you know, you can go through as many time mix-ups as you like, but at some point, if your opponent forces you to go and recover from a certain position, and they know where you're going to recover from, that could just be death. All right, though, we got a Pichu combo TM whirring up right now. 40 damage already off on Mando. You know, B BMM's got those on lock. I like the T-Jolt usage to find some sort of entry right here because Min Min really has no reliable way of uh, nullifying that unless she decides to do mm -hmm. an up smash to reflect it, which is pretty committal, honestly, to do against projectiles. Yeah, but what I really like the approach that I'm enjoying a lot more is the way that Amanda uh, is trying to catch the jumps that come before a lot of those T-Jolts mm -hmm. um, and just try to intercept uh, BMM halfway through. we back to go off the stage. This is going to set up into such a nasty edge guard and neutral is a lingering hitbox. I really like the choice to go through neutral instead of one of the arms uh, because that's like the only one that can probably go past uh, T-Jolt instead of stopping halfway. And I like the retreat there from BMM just to shoot out the t jolts realizing that the, sh the shield was too low. And unfortunately, you have to wait your turn against Min Min. It's a one-two combo a lot of the time. You know, just one arm isn't a full commitment from Min Min. She has to throw both at it in order to really have a, her defense dropped at that point. 
that I just really, that is a character that you really have to wait your turn against. And that's exactly what BMM is doing now, going at double jump distance. That was not a space that Mando could threaten in time. That neutral getup uh, ranged F smash is going to be able to take out that stock. It seems like BMM is making a lot of adaptations uh, to the way that he's just jumping in um, a lot safely than he normally would. He's doing full hops, which is honestly one of the best jumps in to do against Min Min because Min Min doesn't really have a reliable way to call out full hops. Mm -hmm. She can call out short hops really nicely with her own jump, but if you do a full hop, you will clear both arms really, really well. And I honestly think uh, approaching high on Min Min is, is what you need to do. You just have to be careful uh, if the Min Min is, you know, waiting before throwing out those arms because then she could up smash you or up tilt you as an anti-air. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, has the great idea with the dash back F smash, but just not fully anticipating Mando's distance as they get back onto the stage. Really excellent patience from BMM understanding like, hey, I still can't press the button quite yet. I need to wait for that other arm to come out Ooh. before they find my opening. Oh wow. my God, and Pichu, Pichu is baby. So that that is gonna be a pretty early back throw right there. You know, Pichu at 100 for, for a minimum back throw, that's not gonna be good. And we've got the dragon as well. This is looking mighty scary for BMM unless he finds some sort of way in and quick. <gasps> Has a good idea with the parry, but um, yeah, I guess that was just safe enough. Ooh, this is good. Grab. Is BMM going to be able to find this edge guard? Has a good idea, but Mando. We don't need it. <sighs> <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> what else could Min -min? they have done to avoid that hit? Min Min has probably, I think, I think they nerfed Min Min's air dodge to be one of the worst ones in the game. It might be the worst one in the game right now in terms of uh, recovery time off of it. Mm. Oh boy. BMM just waiting patiently, trying to find their in <gasps> right here. Excellent saving of double jump right there with the patented Gibber Tech. Oh, oh my no! god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! I blinked! That's all it takes! Peachy just strong. can take you stock anytime she wants! How? Pichu's strong as hell. That you know, her, her thunder is very, very good. See, didn't blow the double jump because they did the footstool. That was so oh my. smart. I want to. I just want to go back to that. That was that was, that was so actually good. that was pixels. I want I want y'all to see just how close this up smash was to connect. Oh wait, am I at the wrong part? Wait, I think I'm at the wrong part. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta go a little bit. Go. Uh, I gotta go a little bit back. Oh my god! <laughs> I wish we had time to see this. No, okay. Now we're getting back into it. It Guys, was a I'm good so play. Sorry. I tried. It was a I good play. I tried my best. <laughs> that double jump to escape that off smash was so good. BMF's basic uh, thing was immaculate. This is a game five situation, Dara. Already game yep. five situation. This is the first set of the day we're casting. And I want to say, typically with Get Clipped, I feel like a lot of the sets that we do see are, are kind of three O clean sweeps. Yeah, they're blowouts. They're crazy. But this has been a lot more even in terms of, uh, I think, bracket skill density. You know, it's been really, really good. I like this a lot because we get a lot more tight sets from these up-and-coming players who haven't had a huge shot to make their name just yet. Yeah, but watching BMM's adaptation over the course of the set is so exciting. They're starting to really change a lot of the ways that they jump in and are finding a lot of those edge guards against Mando. Mm -hmm. So BMM is truly finding ways to solve this matchup for themselves. We are on a completely flat stage now, though, so there's not many platforms for BMM to uh, navigate away from unless those platforms come back into play, like right now, for example. <laughs> Such good recognition that uh, he has enough time to be able to duck under those hitboxes. <gasps> Gets that tech chase with the up smash, but I'm surprised that wasn't like a bigger option. Uh, maybe one that would kill in that moment. And BMM just playing with the utmost patience right there, not trying to take any large commitments at mid range, just waiting for Mando to get a little uh, antsy and just whiff. Oh my! <gasps> Ledger re grab? Wow! Great Gets man. him every time. Woo. You either roll in from the corner or you jump. Uh, no matter who it is, everybody does it at some point. Uh, so that was an excellent catch from BMM and was able to find that kill as a result. Using the neutral leg as a way to reset the situation and continue this ledge trap, BMM is just putting on all of this damage. For real, and I love how BMM isn't choosing to just hold shield mid-range. As soon as the initial pressure is done, they'll do a jump away just to make sure that shield doesn't drop too far so they can get poked. Just really, really smart gameplay right now from BMM. Oh, I love the recovery. high recovery mix-up. Yeah, Mando was just not ready to be able to cover the platform in that position. I like the idea once to get to go off stage with a back like that. It did seem like BMM was this close to getting it, but not quite. And yeah, Mando now has to come up with some answers here to mix up or just wait a little bit longer before they throw these arms out because BMM has, I think, caught on to the timing uh, of Mando. 
Oh, oh my god. god, how did that up smash whiff, Dar? <laughs> I, I, I have the perfect answer for you. Pichu is a little baby. Oh, yeah, Pichu small. is small. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, he was just able to duck under that hitbox. I'm really surprised that up smash didn't connect, but that back throw will do the job. And just like that, uh, Mando has taken BMM's first stock. And BMM is one clean edge guard away from winning this set. Mando just has to play super defensively, not overcommit, maybe use quicker quicker arms. Like I like the usage of Ram Ram right now just because of how much space it can control with whether you can arc it up or down, how quick it also comes out when you use it as a neutral air tool. You can you can tell Mando is playing a lot more carefully now. Oh my, great grab. Wow. I really like how BMM also understands like, hey. You know, I'm at a pretty good lead right now. There is no incentive for me to go for a lot of unsafe and risky approaches. <gasps> no double jump. <gasps> is this going to oh, be it? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wait. No double jump once again, I think. Yep. Oh, great down smash. Just that down smash was out. so smart. Such good recognition. But BMM recovering high is so smart because <gasps> they were still able to put themselves oh, in a position it. to get. Wow. Wow, the sniper. American sniper in BMM. Gonna be sniping out that last stock and moving into winner's finals here. Get clip number 15 over Mando. Wow. Really good adaptation from BMM and really good ledge trapping slash edge guarding. Mm -hmm. Just the reactions were on point. For, this for is what made it's it. Hard. <laughs> this is what made it. Everything about this is what was able to make this ledge trap because of the fact that BMM went high. They didn't have to put themselves into the lag of uh, staying on ledge and then picking another option. They only underwent the regular landing lag as Pichu getting oh back God. onto the stage. Wow. And this is what this is what won BMM this entire interaction because of the fact that Mando playing Minimum as a character does not have a lot of mix-ups to be able to get back onto center stage to be able to go high Minmin's going one way and that is to the ledge every single time but as Pichu you have the ability to mix up with your recovery you can go onto the platforms you can go to the ledge BMM understood hey I can put myself up here on the stage before you can and was able to find this next hit yeah, that was really good. The lingering back here there was perfect, and both snipes were just absolutely beautiful right here. Just cl clutched up those reverse 30. Just nice sweep right there. I think they realized that they needed to switch this character for sure just to clutch it out. It was great. Really, really good stuff by BMM. Great adaptation, great ledge trapping, and, and didn't get overzealous with those edge guards either. You know, was very cognizant of the fact of when he had to retreat back to stage to set himself yep. up for greatness right here. And you're right. I think that made all the difference right there it, when... BMM decided, mm -hmm. hey, I'm not going to keep lingering off stage here. I'm getting, I, I'm, I don't know if that overshot over the ledge was intentional, but it definitely helped out a lot. It definitely did the job. Yeah. It did the Sometimes job. it's not about picking the option that is like the most convenient to like the fastest in the moment, like going to the ledge. It's the option that's going to be faster than your opponents mm -hmm. and put you in a more advantageous position. So BMM was able to harness exactly that. That one small little play as well was able to let them set up into a ledge trap. But game leads. That being said, uh, we do have to take a quick little second to talk about uh, the incredible people that helped make Get Clipped happen. Gamers, Get Clipped is being powered, being brought to you by MetaView. So you can watch some of the best moments from Get Clipped number 15 on the Get Clipped Top Moments playlist. Use the exclamation mark MetaView command to download the app on iOS or watch on web at metaview.gg. Smashers, look for the Smash Stockpile playlist, which is refreshed every single Tuesday with 20 of the best Smash clips of the week and uploaded every Friday with 10 new clips. But in addition to Smash, maybe that's not always your cup of tea, there's also Warzone, Fortnite, League of Legends, Valorant, uh, fighting games such as Guilty Gear, Tekken, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. Additionally, MetaView is partnered with a lot of really talented creators such as Esam, DK Will, Mystery Meister, Hakuru, and Send. You can find all their best and iconic moments on the creator pages inside of the app. Well said, Nara. Well said. Consider downloading MetaView today. You will not regret it. All right. I had a script. I kind of cheated. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, in yeah, addition, we got more. <laughs> yeah, in addition, 